Come on, move. Come on, move. Ow! That's my toe. You jumped on. Okay, ladies. Well, it's a full bar, full to overflowing. I'm gonna go and empty the hay ring so that I can put a fresh bale of hay in later today. There's still, the wind is finished. But there's still threatens of, uh, look at that big buzzard, just flew over our heads. There's still more rain threatened. So let's see how many people are gonna follow me when I walk across the orchard to go and empty the hay ring or move the hay ring so that they can get the hard hay to get.
babies. Are you coming over? Here they come. Yeah, you can finish up these scrappy bits of hay, ladies. The hay you couldn't reach. How are you, Kestrel? Says, you lied to us. You made it sound like there was really good sheep nuts over here. Not scrappy bits of hay. <laughs> She's very disappointed. Now, I better turn this over. Because they might scratch on it and it would roll away. Ugh. They're all gonna jump. Sorry, ladies. So the next bale of hay is gonna go in this vicinity. Returning their scrappy bits are returning carbon to the soil. So we're cycling nutrients back into the soil. I think there's a fresh bale there. Sorry, ladies, not a fresh bale yet. There will be later today. Later today. Now, if I go back, they're gonna probably follow, which isn't the point of the exercise. You're to finish those bits of hay. This bit of wire has grown into the tree. Something my grandfather probably did shaping a tree or something. A long, 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 there's no other reason why the wire would be in the tree other than my grandfather was doing something, trying to shape it. Oh, there we go. They're all fine. Now I'm gonna go in for morning coffee. Everybody's fed. And you guys can't be bothered because you just know it's scrappy bits of hay. If I walk this way, maybe they won't follow me. Come on, Java. Hopefully they'll stay. here it's been raining a lot so all the sheep are gonna be in the shelter which is all the way down over there
bale of hail, hay, ladies. They're going to be well fed. for the horses and I got caught out it's raining so Horses hay is loaded, but I think I'm going to wait for the rain to ease off a little bit before I bring it out into the field. chip up here because I had a hard time even with the empty trailer getting up there slip sliding all over the place so that's gonna be tomorrow's job is wood chipping the laneway pure and utter mank now to deliver the horses hay get up the hill. We have to go hell for leather up the hill because of the weight of the bale behind. So here's fingers crossed we make it. Yeehaw! look sun's coming out anyway I have to take down this electric fence a little bit there's the ring feeder and I'm gonna move the ring feeder over there
second bale done. Woohoo! Pouring rain again. Just closing that gate. Just finished doing the horse's hay. And uh, picking up this bucket here. Uh, that's it for the day, except for this evening's feeding. And it's come teeming down now with rain. And the horses, I didn't even turn them out. They're in for the day. And tonight, as another storm comes. Anyway, that's today's adventures, is hay for the horses and hay for the sheep. Okay, I'm absolutely starving. Just come in from doing all the hay. Dogs are all in here, lovely and warm and dry because I was going in and out of the neighbors picking up my hay. So this is my fast food, a good knob of butter and allow it to melt. That's the first step. Once the butter is melted, which doesn't take very long, add in frozen peas. And only cook them just till they're thawed. Not to cook them, just so, till they're just thawed. And you can feel that they're no longer frozen. Peas are ready. Now it's the eggs. One, two, three. So these are three fresh eggs and then I scramble them. This is why you have to wait till the peas have finished uh, thawing because you want the eggs to scramble. Okay, let them do their thing for a minute. Now, it's going pretty well. Almost completely scrambled. Now I add my friend Joan and Bob's wonderful garlic pesto sauce. So I add in this is hard to do one-handed. There, one. Ah, this is really hard to do. I'm gonna have to do this okay. without the video. Two healthy teaspoons of pesto sauce. This makes, the, oh, the smell, I can't tell you, it smells so good. So mix that all in. Yep, it's very green. So then plate up. There. Put the lid down, put the kettle on. Now, this is absolutely delicious. And the last thing we do is add on cheese. Now that's cheesy scrambled eggs, peas, and pesto sauce. And it is so good. I can't tell you how delicious this is. And it's cooked really, really quickly.